welcome back to my channel so in this video as you can see we've got some more coasters so if you haven't seen my last video that I did of some adult coasters then check that out I will try to remember to link that down below but these ones there's some more adult coasters so I've already prepped these by painting them with a acrylic pen with a black pen and they're obviously backwards And I can't wait to do them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up some resin. And then we're going to get pouring these. So I found on my last coasters that I did that it's a lot easier that if you pre-paint the etching rather than try to backfill makes it a lot neater and it comes out on this one you can see that I used a red acrylic pen to do the hearts so you can do all sorts of colours so without further ado let's mix up some resin and get making these coasters okay so I've mixed up my resin I'm gonna just pour it into four Actually, not, I don't need to use four cups. So we've got four cups of resin, and now let's put some colour in. So the first one, orange glitter. Next one, I'm going to do this mermaidy colour. It's mermaid, mermaidy sort of blue. I'm going to do pink. And then this one. So that's the colour palette. I'll just give these a few minutes and then we're going to start pouring. Right, so that's them poured. I'm just going to give them a few minutes. Uh, I might see if I just need to top them up a bit and see if any bubbles rise. And then we can blow them. You can see they look a bit see-through. Because yeah, I didn't put any mica powder in. But that's fine. And yeah, let's um, come back to demould. So it's time to demould. But as you can see, I got a bit carried away yesterday. So I just couldn't stop and I kept making and making. So we're going to demould all these bits. But before we do, we'll get to the main projects and we will demould the coasters. So they are a bit see-through. But they still come out great. That's spelt a bit weird, isn't it? But still, don't be a hippopotamus. Let's go to this one. You can hear loads of noise, got some roadworks going on. Don't be a dino dick. So even though they're really glittery, it's still the writing just stands out. I think they look beautiful. Let's go to this one. Don't be a thunder cunt. Got some overspill, so I need to trim that off. And don't be a cuntosaurus. Don't you think they look brilliant? So that's all those 
process together. Which one's your favourite? And they're so simple to make, yet they're so effective. I think that's my favourite. I mean, that's that up there spelt a bit funny, but. So that's the coasters. And these are from AliExpress. I will try and remember to link these down below. And if you haven't, like I said before, I've got another video of different style of adult coasters. But let's get moving on to demoulding some other bits. So here's a koi. So I'll just show you this before I do that. So I wanted to do some black resin. So I've done this welcome sign, so I can't demould this yet. But I was just doing black to fill in the welcome. So you see it would be like that. And then obviously this is going to be a two part. So I can't demould this because I need to still fill this. And I started filling it more and you can see it was getting a bit blurry up here. So I stopped. So I had some leftover black because I was doing that. So another day when I get more resin out, I'll finish that and that'll be a welcome sign. And you can see already it's black, but it's got glitter in the black. And that's going to look so cool. So that was what I had the black resin for. And I just used black Mika. So I thought I would do a black Koi. Because I've never done a black Koi. I always do the colourful ones. And this resin is still a little bit soft. But you know, I'm impatient. Look at that. It's come out so cool. So effective. So all I did was sprinkle some purple glitter in the middle. The rest was just the black glitter mix that I done. And that's come out so good. Again, there's a tiny bit of overspill on the fin, so I'll just have to trim that. That's that. And then also with the black resin, so this is a new mould. So I'll be showing this when I do my next AliExpress haul, whether I, whether it's before or after this, I'm not sure. Let's demold this. Glitter hole. Oh, that looks so cool. So what I did is I, with the acrylic pens, is I painted it in white and then I went back over it again in gold to give a goldy white letter in. And it's come out so effective with the black glitter. Don't that look cool? Again, that was with the black. What should we move on to? Little Mickey dishes. I do loads of these. So I just had to do one of these to stock up in my shop. Get the ears out. pink Mickey trinket that's that mould um, let's go on to these so this is another new mould so it's like jigsaws but it's um, letters so again the same thing is I coloured them in beforehand with the acrylic paint and just with the leftover glitter and the black from the coasters I just filled these in and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole through the top bit and turn that into little keychains, little keychains 
So let's get all these out. Have an overspill. Good job the acrylics, the acrylic. Good job the resin's still a bit soft, so that came apart easy. Oh, I love that one. That was a mix of the uh, purpley and the orange. Glittery doesn't want to focus. Look at that. So cool. And the black ones are really effective as well. So that's a load of keychains, and that's this mould. And I think you can actually you know, spell out spell out letters if you wanted to use this for something else. You know, if you're doing a frame or something, you'd spell out letters like that. I'm doing it in something else, but I'm going to turn them into keychains. So that's all my acrylic letters. Oh, and then look at this. This is a gecko. I don't know how this. Right, just ran out of memory card, so I just had to start again. So I was just about to demold this. So this is a little gecko. So when I ordered this, I thought it was going to be bigger. So it was quite small. So not sure how this was. Gonna, this is going to come out, but let's have a look. Again, a lot of overspill, and I painted some of the detail with the acrylic pens again with gold. Probably need to tidy it up in there. quite a hard little mould to fill with resin. One of those. That's that. Um, let's go on to this. So I've got two of these. This one's partially filled so again that was set aside when I've got more resin. It would just be a mix of colours but I've done it with this iridescent white. So let's open up this. So these are like uh, Feather trinkets. And you have to sort of grab it once you've got it. Such a cute trinket, and once you've got this other one made, it'd almost be like a set. You could have them individually or as, or as a set. And I've done this in blue, iridescent glitter, white. They're just really cute. So set that aside. Whilst we're on further trinkets, I've got this large one. So this I did with a mix of purple and white and then some of the leftover white on the top and then I sprinkled the gold so this one still feels a bit soft so once it's demolded we will flatten it out Isn't that stunning? A bit sharp here, so I probably just need to trim those down a bit. That's a really 
done in further trink it. And then the final bits, I did some word moulds and it's been a long time since I've done any of these sort of things. So this one I did with a mix of all the colours from the coaster. A deep set mould, quite hard. What I might do is move all these, I'm going to place it down and lift off. a bit bendy but that was set nice and hard so you can see the glitter's sunk but actually it creates a beautiful effect once that's up on a little bedside once that's up on a little bedside table isn't that gonna look beautiful wow so lay that flat and the final one was this family so I did that with the purple glitter there and then I could see that the glitter was sinking but this one right you see the dream was backwards this mold faces up and then I thought oh now the glitter is going to be all sunk to the bottom and then there's going to be nothing at the front so I started sprinkling some glitter I don't know if I shouldn't have done that, but let's see. Again, still a bit soft. They're still really effective. Need to do a bit of tidy up. Still really bendy. Now, if it would have come out like the back, that would have been just perfect, wouldn't it? But unfortunately, that's the front. Still nice. I would have loved it to have come out like that. So I need to lay that flat. I need to clean these moulds now because full of glitter. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Obviously, it was um, primarily about these coasters, but then we've gone on to do moulding all these other bits because um, I just love watching uh, what people make out of resin. Gives you inspiration, doesn't it? But let me know what you think. What's your favourite piece out of here? How would you do things different? I hope you've enjoyed this video. This little bonus bit at the end you know I don't record everything I make out of resin because I would never get anything done the amount of things I make and um, but let me know if you've enjoyed it if you like seeing the demold of all my resin makes I hope you've enjoyed it if you have please hit the like button if you haven't already please subscribe thanks for watching and be sure to come back for another video bye